Hey, what's going on? This is EJ Uno and I'm back again and this is my toy, my new toy vault with a new tour. Okay, so I'm about to get into this. Uh, so I've been away from my uh, and been doing some rearranging. As you see, I don't have any more of my big colossal of Marvel Legends. That's because of a really good reason. But before I get into that, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, leave a comment below if you like what I'm showing, if you like what I'm doing, and um, you know what I'm saying, just be nice about it if you could. I appreciate y'all, appreciate all you guys, thank you. Um, so th this was the thing is, um, when I told you about the 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 Gandalf, um, Paul, the guy, um, I was, so I sold him all my Marvel Legends, well most of them, the only Marvel Legends that I kept was basically the ones that I knew of and it was like I know I had like three shelves full of Marvel Legends and like the rest of them were like different other things well that's because I was watching somebody on YouTube and I remember them saying like collect what you know don't collect just because it's just part of the collection because it doesn't it's not fun because if you don't know what you're getting you just buying it just because of the collection um it really just becomes a, a annoyance that you really don't understand like, it, it doesn't really go into what you're doing because when you get your collection, you're sitting around with a whole bunch of stuff that you just bought for no apparent reason. So, I only took, uh, I only took, which call it, I only collected the X-Men from when in the 90s when I, and I'm going on a whole nother, like, 70s, 90s, uh, 70s, 80s, and 90s figurines that I grew up off of. And, um, I was saying that, um, Oh, I was about to talk about Okay, so I collect the X-Men, because that's what I grew up off of. The Fantastic Four, that's what I, I, I liked. I, I, I liked those two. They were really cool. So, and, you know, I went back to collecting the Star Wars, but only the vintage corded ones, because they were the old school ones, the ones I, I was used to. And um, some uh, more, some, um, what's that, Masters of the Universe. Collect, um, kept my, um, what is it, the... The Ninja Turtles, of course, because, you know, that's just all-time keeper right there. Um, I got some Power Rangers. Oh, I, I got some new stuff to show you guys what I got. So, I'm going to take you a look around what I got, and then I'm going to show you what I got new. So, let's take a look. Okay, so up here, like I said, I kept my X-Men... And, you know, of course, I had to keep, um, keep Beast because what I did was I went to, what is this, to um, Ikea. And I picked these up. I got the idea. And these are like the, I, it's not a picture of this, but this is the karaoke's that I'm going to put the X-Men into when I get my house. It's going to be like, the, I'm going to have a bad side. And I'm going to have a good side. So, you know, I got Senator, got Omega Red, um got gladiator you know all those good ones and i'm gonna have them fight and have like you know the sentinel with magneto so that's gonna be pretty cool i got that of course i told you i kept the fantastic four you know what i'm saying i i really like dr doom that was real cool um I, from the transformers i got rid of most of my transformers i only kept the vintage transformers that i had those are the cool ones right there um as you see it's more more of a legends that i kept right there um I picked up some, and you know, I guess I'm going to do what I have it right now. So I picked up the Hunter Predator right there. That was pretty cool. You take a look at him. Yeah, look at that. That is, that's pretty cool right there. So it's the from the arcade, from the, from the Witch Collar, from the old 80s game. I picked up the Mad Predator. Take a 360 look at that. That was pretty cool right there. Um, I picked up the Warrior Predator. He reminds me of, you know, the movie. So that's, it's that. That was pretty cool, though. So taking a look at that. Picked these up from, what is it, from Target online. So these ain't, you can't find them in the store that much. So I picked these up from Target online. Um, picked up the Alien right here. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah. That's, that's pretty cool right there. 
Pick that, that made it do a quick 360 turn right there. Okay, so when I drop down, here are the Power Rangers. Um, I kept him. I know I didn't grow up off of him, but I kept Tommy because that was just so cool. He, he just looked so cool. Um, now, as you see, I got all the Power Rangers from the Marvel, from the 90s I grew up off of. And I had a whole bunch of Power Rangers, but all of the same one, but like different series. And then, you know, I was like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to keep collecting one from the same series. So I ended up just keeping these because you had, they had the interchangeable heads with the mask. And that was really cool. So that's what I wanted to get. So, of course, I showed you guys I got her. And I got Billy. He was He's the last one. Look at that. Blue Ranger Billy. That's that's pretty cool right there. So, I got all them right now. That was pretty cool. I got him off of Amazon for $19. That was pretty cool. And, um, you know, I got the green Tommy back there. Let me get the light so you can see. I got Tommy over there. That's pretty cool. And, as you guys see, I got the cartoon Ninja Turtles followed by the movie Ninja Turtles got Leonardo High I mean Donatello hiding right there got Raphael Leonardo Michelangelo it's pretty cool got the foot soldiers in the back and got Shredder and Splinter every time I see Shredder I'll be like those turtles okay and these are the Marvel Legend I mean not Marvel Legend I keep on saying Marvel Legend because I see the M these are the masters of the universe um, I'll, I'll break some off and show you guys a little bit of these. I'll do some. Let me get done with doing this tour. And I'll just get to that in a second. And dropping down, I got. Oh my gosh! I told you I collect. I got so many of these because I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get this. Gotta get this. Gotta get this. I was on a mad hunt when because you know these are hard to come by. Like really hard to come by. As you see, I have a a lot of them. I got Chewbacca. Got Han Solo. Got the red one, got the the red trooper from the Sith, got um the Jawas, got the vintage Bob, Boba the Fett, um, got Luke over there, um, the ceremonial Luke, got the vintage Luke, got the stormtrooper, got that. Um I picked up him, he was twenty-three dollars, a Senate guard. Look at that. Came in this ca beautiful case so it don't get messed up. That was real cool. Got the Darth Vader from the Empire Trace back. Um, Han Solo and Hawk gear um, over here. Let me see if I can move that a little bit. Got that Tatuna Sith Rider right there. That's pretty cool. Um, let me see what I got underneath here. Okay, I got Ray. I don't want to move too many, too much of this because I don't want it to start falling. Um, oh, okay. So over here, I picked up the Return of the Jedi with the Han Solo and the other guy included. I forgot his name. Um, I picked him, picked this up, the at stat rider from, um, the new Star Wars series. I picked this up, um, from Best Buy for $30, $34 or something like that. So that was pretty cool. Um, what is, oh, I picked this up, the X-Wing fighter, his X-Wing fighter. I got him over there. That's pretty cool. Okay. So I picked that up right there. And, um... Let me put this stuff back real quick and then so I can show you the Masters of the Universe. Be right back. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed that new tour that I gave. Um, once I get where I'm going, getting at with these in, in the house, it's gonna you're going to see a lot individual ones. They ain't going to be standing out. And you're going to see them all. They won't be covered behind each other. And, you know, hopefully it happens very soon. So I'm going to give like a little bit of the um, a little bit of these unboxing of the Masters of the Universe um, by Super 7. Um, yeah, it's, these are really, really nice. This is called, his name is Clawfo. <laughs> I guess they ran out of names in the 80s that they really didn't. I don't really think of nothing else better to say. So I got him for Super 7. And thanks for Super 7 for you guys, um, you know, keeping me in touch with this. And, you know, they, I really mostly got most of my He-Man things from Big Bad Toys, Super 7 Majorly. And um, eBay. And this is Bait Tears. See him. Okay. Got him right there. The reason I'm not taking all these out of the box because they are really delicate. I don't want to like rip the box when I'm opening these. But 
this is pretty cool right here. Pretty cool. Oh, oh shoot. See what I mean? Smashing this. Oh, don't want to like mess them up while I'm putting them in there. Oh, oh, that's the reason why. I'm about to rip the plastic off this thing. Sorry, guys. There you go. Get caught in the box. These things are hard to get back in when you when you start getting these. Okay, here's another one I want to show you. This is from the movie Skeletor right here. This is pretty cool. This is actually really cool. I ain't gonna lie. Look at that. Look at that. You can't really... Uh, let me see if I can zoom in on him. Yeah, like... That is pretty cool right there. Like, this is... This is some really good detail right here. From Skeletor. This is really cool. I, I like this. I got him from... Oh, Big Bad Toys. I got. I remember getting him from Big Bad Toys. This is pretty cool. Sorry guys, I'm not like so excited. I just got off of work. So yeah, so and I wanted to do this video. Um, I think oh, let me see. I got Shadows. He's pretty cool. I got him actually today. I love how they have these cards, like a carded thing. Look at that Shadows right there. I like the little cartoon artwork on the bottom. I mean, on the bottom, on the back. It's, it's really cool right there. Cam right there. And like, really, I just wanted to take like a new, it was just like, I really took into mind what I, what that guy was saying on, on ooh, I, I didn't know the camera fair guy, sorry about that. <laughs> I was really took into mind what the guy was saying about collect what you know, not just just because it's part of the collection because it don't become fun no more and it really wasn't. It was like I was collecting pe people I didn't even know <laughs> and it was just like I was wasting my money so I was like wow. And then when I started taking most of my Marvel Legends like and selling them, I was like I don't even know half of these Marvel Legends because I, I, was, I was into comic books. And Marvel and X Men, all that stuff. But I was usually I was really watching them on TV. I wasn't like buying comic books. I was buying them, but not reading them. If that makes sense, I was just buying them to collect them. So yeah, so I really didn't know half of the people I was getting. <laughs> uh, but getting back to it, this is Buzzclaw. I mean, this is Hordak Buzzsaw. So back in the day, they sold him when his chest was up and nothing came out but now it gets us a newer one when the saw just comes out of his chest that's pretty cool that's that's pretty cool right there look at it i'm thinking about getting his um like lynchmen that he has and getting them that's pretty cool pretty cool put him back in there so so yeah so that is most of all the, well not all of them, but that is most of the He-Man's Master of the Universe that I got right there. And um, I'm probably going to get like one or two more. I'm, I'm, I might get more than that, I don't know. So yeah, <laughs> just to be real about it, I might just, I might do that just to be real about it. But um, yeah, so I got... From Thundercats coming, I got Tiger and I got Linos coming and I got some more Star Wars coming. So yeah, so I'm really just trying to keep it not so big on the collection. That's why I didn't that's why I like that. I'm just like it looks big, but it's really not big at all. And I kinda like it like that. So um but I really am focused on the Star Wars, the black corded ones. And um really just that that's it, just the Star Wars, the black corded one. That's that's really what I'm really focus on collecting so yeah so i appreciate y'all tuning in for my my new toy vault and the new tour and um stay tuned for more and more new things i get and don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell button and i'll be back with more stay tuned